welcome to Boffins Academy. Today we are going to do IB Physics, specifically Paper 1 Questions Standard Level. We have the exams of uh, October 2020, specifically, let's check again one more time. So Physics Standard Level from the IB Curriculum, Paper 1, Wednesday 28th of October 2020. So it's a test that has 30 questions. You're gonna have to answer every question in 45 minutes. So this means that you're going to have approximately one hour and 30, one minute and 30 seconds for every question. Let's do the first three exercises and give an explanation for all of three of them. So question one. Which quantity has the same units as those for energy stored per unit volume? So energy stored is in joule, per unit volume is cubic meters. Let's try to analyze that. We already know that since W, the work done on an object, is F times X, which is newtons times meters in terms of units, and this is joules, we know that joules is equal to newton times meters over cubic meters. We can simplify the meters with the cubic meters. The, here you have to the power of two. This is newton over square meters. And if we remember what is this, this is basically force over Area and force over area is of course equal to pressure. This means that the correct answer is pressure. Now let's go to question two. A list of four physical quantities is acceleration, energy, mass, and temperature. How many scalar quantities are in this list? Basically, we need to remember that we have the vector quantities and the scalar quantities. When we are dealing with scalar quantities, we have to remember that scalar quantities are just a number. We just describe them with a with a number. They don't have the sense of direction and they don't have we don't have to identify the points of direction. And if we apply force for example, we have direction. Uh, so a vector quantity is when we need to describe the direction as well as we know Acceleration is a vertical, is a vector quantity. Acceleration is a vector quantity. Scalar quantity is energy because we don't need to include any direction. We don't have any direction. Uh, sometimes, though, when we are dealing with work done, the work done, if we consume, if the work done is consumed, we have to put a negative sign. We put the negative sign so that we know that the work done is consumed. This doesn't mean that the work has direction. Mass is an innate uh, property of an object, therefore it doesn't have any direction, the mass is scalar. And now we know that also temperature is also an innate. It's a state, it's a situation, it's a state that we can find an object. So temperature is here, therefore the correct answer is three. How many scalar quantities are in this list? Three. So now we should go to and see. Now we should go to question three. An object of mass 2m moving at velocity 3v collides with a stationary object of mass 4m. The objects stick together after the collision. What is the final speed and the and the change in total kinetic energy immediately after the collision? So we have to remember that in 99.9% .9 of uh, occasions and situations you can apply the uh, conservation of momentum theorem. Basically, let's make a small drawing here, a small sketch. So we have an object. This object has a uh, mass 2m and it has a velocity. Let's assume that it goes right. Here we have a stationary object. Basically, we're going to make it a bit, a bit bigger because it has mass for m. And initially, it has a velocity initially equal to zero. So v of 4m is equal to zero meters per second in the start. 
Now let's assume that this is the initial state. This is before the collision. This is before the collision. And we're going to check what happens after the collision. So let's inspect the phenomenon after the collision. After the collision, both objects form one object. They are together, they stick together. So let's assume that they're somewhere here after a few seconds after the uh, result. So those two are together now. So if they have masses 2m and 4m, the mass of the, the masses of the two objects together will combine, therefore you're going to have a mass of 6m for the objects that are stuck together now, but we have to consider in our calculations that we're dealing with one object. Therefore, the conservation of momentum theorem indicates that conservation uh, conservation, wait a second, there's enough momentum indicates that the uh, momentum initial is equal to momentum final. What are we going to do here? Practically, we're going to apply exactly that. We're going to write the formulas. I need to remind you here that momentum is described, is denoted with the letter P, P is equal to M times V in general. Therefore, P initial is equal to uh, E final. We're going to put vectors at the start, but after that we're going to uh, remove the vectors. We don't need the vectors as long as we have the right signs, plus and minus. And the plus and minus signs, you can judge, you can find out what the signs will be if you have a direction. So we will uh, describe as positive direction the direction to the right as we see the image. So at the start you have 2m times 3v, which is the initial velocity of the object, of the orange object. And after that you're going to have 2m plus 4m, which will give us 6m. This is equal times, uh, let's call it uh, v final, the velocity of the uh, objects that are stuck together. It's going to be 6mv is equal to 6mv final. Therefore, the final velocity of the objects that are stuck together, uh, as you can assume, we can divide both uh, sides with 6m. Therefore, this means that the m's and the 6s uh, will be cancelled out, will be simplified. V final is equal to the initial velocity of the orange object. So basically, uh, now, right now we have proven that it's going to be either A or B. And now it says change in total kinetic energy. This means that we're going to have to find uh, delta K, delta K in Greek, delta K, uh, and we need to put an absolute value as well because in case we get a negative value, it's going to be positive. In any case, we want the absolute value. So this is equal to K final minus K initial, which will give us one half uh, K final. We have the object, the two objects. So this is basically, I forgot about the actual value. Sorry for that. It's 6m times v squared. And at the start, we have the object that is 2m times, it's 3v basically. It's 3v squared. Don't forget the absolute value. The 2m's be simplified. Here we have three. So basically, it's going to be absolute value of 3mv squared minus 
9 mv squared. This is absolute value of minus 6 mv squared, which will give us 6 mv squared. Basically, the answer that is in total correlation, 100% correlation with what we found so far is option B, final speed V, change in total kinetic energy, 6 mv squared. So it was nice explaining those uh, questions to you. Those were questions mainly revolving around mechanics. You need to know the theorems very well in order to be able to solve those exercises, those questions, you know, quite quickly and on the appropriate time. So thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next video. Bye bye.